Fishing Freaks, welcome back to another episode of RX Angler. Today, I'm hitting a local, well not a local spot, semi-local, and I've had pretty good success here in the past. I'm gonna to try to find some shelter from the winds because the winds are gonna be pretty high today, so this back marsh is gonna be perfectly good. But the draw side is, it's kinda of a little far, but we're gonna be using different lures, bugs, paddle tail, maybe gulp if we need to. We're gonna search for two or three keeper reds, and I have my Bixby motor with me just in case so I can get to the farm marsh and exert as little force as I can <laughs> and enjoy fishing as much as I can. I need you guys to leave a comment. Please leave a comment because it helps my analytics and I just love you guys. When you do leave a comment, I read every single one of you. And also please subscribe, hit that like button. Let's get into fishing. Growing up around me, that is a good sign. Early in the morning here, water level is a little bit up, but that's okay. Brings out the lazy part of me since I don't have to really push pull myself. <laughs> oh, that's your lure? Yeah. Damn, that should you should be able to tear it up with that. I mean, I'm I'm bumping into a lot of bait, man. There we go. Yep, that feels like a red. Oh, he dropped it, bro. He dropped it. No. A wake, wake bay. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun while it lasted. Man, look at that! Look at that sun. I know that sun is amazing, bro. God's creation is simply marvelous, man. Welcome, guys, to the channel. I'm out here at an undisclosed location with my buddy Marcus. If you haven't yet, follow his channel. I'll leave a link in the description box below. He only posts once every 10 years though, just be aware. And uh, yeah, look at that sunrise over there. It's like red. The winds are higher than I expected, to be honest with you. I really wasn't expecting this. The freaking weatherman lied to me, man. He said pretty much single digits, but it's like double digits. If you know what I'm talking about. No bueno. Yeah, as I stated in the intro, man, it's really simple. I'm gonna be working the shoreline here, see if I can get something to hook on. Like I did, I, already got, I was lucky, I got one on, but I lost them, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> That's my own stupidity, not knowing how to set the hook. And honestly, I didn't even think you need to set the hook with treble hooks, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> There we go. Wow. We got them on. <laughs> oh man. I knew this spot would produce because I've had good success here in the past. Yeah, he's going to be a keeper red. That's a big guy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, yeah. He might be over slow high. Let's go back here so we don't disturb the rest of the crew. Like right there. Look. Big dude, big dude. Okay, come on, baby. Come on. Come on, we're gonna fight him this way. Man, BFS, bro. BFS. Catching big donkeys like this. BFS. So much fun, so much fun. We gotcha. Whew. All right, first fish today. And that's a big, nice redfish, probably 24 incher. Gave my BFS equipment a good fight. Nice, buddy. Nice. Love it when I catch the first fish and it's a keeper. I can't complain. Okay, Siri. Shut up. <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's get you out of here. Thank you so much for the morning fight. It's like getting morning wood. There she goes. 
First fish, man. Couldn't ask for anything better. I knew this spot's going to pay off. I'm going to kind of target, maybe catch a couple more at this spot right here. Well, that's why we have the Bixby motor to get to our place and fast. Yeah, if you want to motor down and head back, back. Oh, that's a good wake up there. You see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like a redfish, bro. Without a doubt. Trolling motor. What? Hey, how many pounds of thrust is that? Oh, uh, 65. Dang, man. That's a big thrust, bro. It's light. There we go. We are in place. Let's rock and roll. Smooth sailing to our far back marsh spot. And while I'm just cruising with my Bixby, I'm just going to look on the sideline here and see if we can find any kind of blow up or what have you. And we'll stop and quickly fish it. Easy money. Oh man, I didn't get it recorded. Marcus, my boy, hooked into a nice redfish right there. Good job, buddy. Don't lose them like you always lose fish. Oh, man, there's a lot of shrimp back here, bro. A lot of shrimp? Okay, that's good to know. Oh, you almost broke off, bro. No, that was a treat. Okay, get them up. Oh man, red's up there. That was a red for sure. Yeah, look at this red right here. I missed him. <laughs> Marcus, two reds are coming right at you. Here we go. Some ladyfish. Dang it. I catch ladyfish, can't catch a redfish. Man, there is a lot of bait back here in this marsh. That is why I wanted to come here. I've been talking about shrimp, freaking mullet, everything you can think of, man. It's like a buffet line here. And I did see those two redfish. Totally blew those opportunity. But hopefully the further I push, maybe there'll be a couple more back here. Who knows? <clears throat> wow, there we go. Got it, we got you. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a keeper. Right on that grass line. Nice, nice. I knew they were gonna be here. Last time I came here, they were like seriously in abundance. I'm talking about like four or five freaking limits of them. But today, not so much, but doesn't matter. We got this guy on. I mean, when you're fighting them in a small little creek like this, so much fun. <laughs> Come on, buddy. No, 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 no. Dude, I'm using BFS. You got to be careful. <laughs> you got to be careful, bro. Dang, he wants to go right in the grass. All right, I don't blame him. Blame him. Come on. Tired out here, yeah, it's a beautiful redfish. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Dude, I'm happy. What a good day of fishing. Seriously. Gosh, so strong. There, we got you, buddy. Good fish, man. Very beautiful colors. That's a nice looking fish there, people. Man, that's a pretty fish. Look at that. Gosh, strawberry red, dark blue tail. That's a good fish. I wonder, probably maybe about five pounds. Yeah, five pounds on the money. Probably about 23 incher. Nice table fare, beautiful fish. And this back marsh too, man. <laughs> Where everything is skinny and thin. <laughs> All right, my friend, you ready to get out of here? See ya. <laughs> Woo, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's two keepers for today. Really lucky, very fortunate. It's beautiful out here. Okay, it's a time in the video where we talk about the gear that I'm using today. I wanna showcase the, uh, the rod and reel setup that uh, I was using to catch majority of my fish. This right here is the 2022 or 2021, I can't remember, Shimano and Terra's DC model, the brand new model that Shimano has or the latest model. And I am using it on a old 18 suppressor light action rod, which I have a discount code in the description box below. And I have a discount code for Digitaka if you're looking to purchase a high-end DC reel from Shimano like this and Terry's. Just send me a DM via Instagram. We have Vervas 1.5 gauge braided line, which I also have a discount code in the description box below. Whew, I am deep in this marsh and it's that time to go. 
and I don't want to be stuck out here. So I'm going to rev up my motor and just chill on the way back home. Really happy I got this Bixby. As you guys can tell, I keep talking about it because I'm really ecstatic about it. But if you're really interested in the Bixby, there's a direct link in the description box below. Check it out. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today in the beautiful, beautiful Upper Texas coast. I love every single one of you, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.